Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and this morning I am going to make a sausage egg bake. And so what I am doing is I've got um, I have six little let me show you six little red potatoes that I really didn't have anything to use them for, and I don't want them to go bad, so I'm going to cut these up and I'm going to fry them until they're soft and then I'm going to get them out and I've got two pounds of sausage I'm going to use one uh, one pound for a uh, dish today and then I'm going to make some freezer um, tortillas breakfast tortillas or whatever with um the other pound and so i've got jimmy dean's country mild i've never used this before so i don't know what it tastes like but i've got two pounds of that and like i said i'm going to use one pound in this dish and then the other pound in the um breakfast tortillas or whatever so i've got um to cut up an onion i'm gonna i've got a red bell pepper that i'm going to cut up um, I, oh, I've got, I'm going to get some canned asparagus, drain it, and put it in there. I love asparagus in, um, in the breakfast bakes or whatever. I'm going to do that, and I don't know what else I'm going to put in there. I don't know what spices. I know definitely eggs and, uh, I mean eggs, Egg, definitely salt and pepper. Um, and I'm not sure how many eggs I'm going to use I'm thinking about fixing a whole bunch of eggs also, maybe like 18 or so, and making the egg and sausage tortillas as well, um, and then freezing freezing them. I cleaned out some of my freezer today and straightened it up, and I'm trying to get that um, straightened up or whatever. So let me go on and get these potatoes cut up and get them in my frying pan to soften them up, and I will bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so here is the sausage that I am cooking. And I went in the kitchen to help Amber to show her some things or whatever and left the sausage in here. And dummy me, forgot that it was in here. And I burnt some of the pieces and I tried to get out the majority of it, but there's still a few left in there. Um, anyway, let me... Well, I'm, thinking about it let me tell y'all that Samantha is um, going in she's got to have a some kind of plate or something put in her wrist and so she's going in for surgery next Monday and they said that she would be off from work anywhere from um, 8 to 10 weeks and so that you know is upsetting her and <laughs> me because I'm scared that by the time she gets back or whatever that Amber's going to be doing the the things um the trail rides and so I don't know what I'm going to do but anyway um so let's get back to the um sausage egg bake all right so I'm doing the sausage I cut up one small onion and the red pepper I cook the potatoes um I'm going to drain and cut these into um, probably smaller bites the asparagus and then I've got a can of mushroom pieces and stems I'm going to drain those and it's all going to go in here and um, we're going to have a, a delicious breakfast lunch Brin what, is, what is it? It is brunch that's right, dinner is lunch in between lunch and dinner, and uh, brunch is between breakfast and lunch. Okay, so we're gonna have a delicious brunch, and I just wanted to bring y'all back and show you. I don't wanna do anything that 
you know, y'all won't know any uh, anything about it. I haven't put any spices or anything like that in here yet. So when I get around to the next step, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so here is my um, casserole dish. I guess this, this is the, shoot, I need to wipe this out. I just had it in there. I was getting the, I had, where my, spilt my cornbread in my oven the other day. We had to vacuum it out, and I had this sitting right there, and the little black things or whatever got all inside it, so I had to wipe it out. Okay. All right, so this is a, was it 9 by 13, something like that. Let's see if it says on the bottom of it. Um, useful, useful as it is gorgeous, from my frontier to yours. Dishwasher, microwave, and oven safe, no size. But I guess it's a 13 by 9 <clears throat> inch pan. And so I've, here is all the sausage, the onions, and the peppers. And I'm going to put that in the bottom here of this. <clears throat> I don't know whether this is half of this or not, but I did have, um, I put the other part in this. That's to make the tortilla. Um things breakfast tortillas with all right so then i've got this can of mushroom pieces and, st and stems i'll put that in here all right let me get this All right, and then I've got this. I was going to cut these up, but they don't look like they really need to be cut up. So, nope, they don't. All right, that's asparagus, and I love asparagus in my sausage and egg bakes or whatever. I just love them. All right, so I'm going to stir this up. And now the next, and I'm sitting right here. We're sitting right here holding this and forgot to spray. Oh, well, it'll be all right. It's got the, it's got some grease on the bottom, so I think it'll be okay. All right, and then now here's the potatoes. Putting the potatoes in. All right, and I've got to go and mix up the eggs. I'm going to do about uh, 10 eggs, I think. Um... Yeah, I think 10 will do. I'm going to just put, instead of messing up another bowl, I'm going to put it right in, put them right in there and whisk them in that, in that pan right there. So I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. All right, so I put 10 eggs in here and I have a silicone whisk. See, that's what... That's why I can use this pan because I do have a silicone whisk or whatever and I can whisk them up in here. All right, now I'm going to put about, um, I would say about a half a cup of milk in here. And the spices that I decided to use are my favorite, the, still my favorite, my wood-fired garlic. This one, Kinder's wood-fired garlic. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. And then I'm going to use this McCormick's Himalayan Pink Salt, Black Pepper, and Garlic. I'm trying, y'all, real hard to like garlic because I'm limiting myself so much. <laughs> All right, so this is pink, Himalayan Pink Salt, Black Pepper, and Garlic. Oh, and it smells like garlic. Oh. All right, and then, and I just did it to, I didn't measure or whatever, but I would say that's probably a teaspoon. And this, I don't know, I really like this, so. Uh, probably a teaspoon and a half of that. Now I'm just going to whisk these eggs as much as I can and get all this, the um, 
spices in there and then I'm going to pour them over the mixture there, the sausage, peppers, onions, um, asparagus, mushrooms, and potatoes. All right, and I hope 10 eggs is enough. I don't know, but I hope so. I've got my oven preheated to 400. Well, it's preheating now. I thought I had it turned on and I went in there to check and make sure. And I have two offs. It's like an, a bake and then an off and then the, the temperature uh, temperatures and then an off. And somebody, I always leave the temperature on and cut the, the bake off, you know, bake, broil, uh, whatever. I always turn that off, put that on off and leave the temperature right around 400 because most of the time everything I cook is right around 400. It used to be 450. So I came down 50 degrees, y'all. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> um, but nah, some things I do lower than that. Some are 350, some are 400, and some are 425. So um, I usually keep it around 400. All right, so I've got... All right, you can't even see me, what I'm doing over here. All right, I've got this... Um, whisked up, whisked up, and I'm going to pour this on top of this. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see on this. I gotta stir it up and see. can't figure out whether to put cheese on it or not. I don't, y'all know, I really don't like cheese so much. So I wasn't sure whether to put cheese on it. I may put um, a little bit on it. I'm going to have to get um, Amber to get it out of the drawer for me over there. Alright, I think that that's probably enough eggs and I'm going to like I said I'm gonna put this on in the oven at 400 degrees and I think that it may take 30 to 45 minutes I could be wrong but a lot of times these egg bakes take a good amount of time to cook so and I'm gonna put like a, a little bit of sharp cheddar on there. I think it's sharp. If I don't have any sharp, it's going to be mild. It's either mild or sharp um, on here, but not not very much. Y'all put ever how much cheese y'all want <laughs> on there, and I'm going to just put like a half a cup or so on here. And I will bring you back I, mean, I will bring y'all back when this gets ready. Okay, y'all. Alright, so here is the um, finished sausage egg bake and I'm going to I just wanted to show y'all this and I'm going to put it's definitely done this cooked about 35 minutes and it probably would have been done in 30 minutes All right. Let me move this and show y'all this. All right, now I'm going to let this cool off. It's really, really hot now. I'm going to let this cool off and take a picture, and I will be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. All right, I'm back. So we're going to taste this now and see what it tastes like. It looks like a good brunch to me. I don't know. Mm. I was wondering what all I could put in here. It seems like, I mean, I wonder if I could put spinach in here. I put the, the asparagus in here, but I don't know. It just seems like it needs something green. 
massage the asparagus. Mm. Look at it, y'all. Yeah. You can see the steam coming off of it. But this Jimmy is, what is it, Jimmy Dean mild country sausage or something. I've never seen this before. And it is real mild. I think I, I don't know why they would have this. I mean, you either like sausage or you don't like sausage. <laughs> There's been quite over the years with the nurses that I've had, there's been quite a few that don't like sausage, but my own grandson, Caden, does like, not like sausage now. Mmm, mm-mm. Very, very hot. Mmm. I could have put, I guess I could have put bacon bits in it. Oh, tomatoes. Like the uh, fresh tomatoes, like slices of tomato. Or that's really good, too. And I forgot that. <laughs> mm. All right, y'all. This is really good while I sit here and think of other things that I could put in it. I love these um, sausage bakes like this. So... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram, and also, um, don't forget that there are links below that you can purchase stuff from Amazon that, um, I'm a, an affiliate for Amazon, so you click on the link, it's not going to cost you any more than it would, in, you know, if you clicked on it yourself, but I do make a few pennies off of it. So, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Don't forget I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye.